Oscar, I guess just start off by talking about your decision to to come back here for, for another year with the program and kind of what, into that, what went into that. Yeah, well, um, obviously this place is amazing and I've, I've had a great uh, couple of years here and uh, I just hate to see myself not take full advantage of, of what we have here and the new coaches and the facility and uh, lucky enough I had another year and, um, you know, I just, I'm excited to see what we can do with the coaching staff and um, I, I really love my time with Coach Burns, uh, my special teams guy and it's just been, it's been unreal and, um, you know, I had that opportunity to come back for another year and I just thought why not use it and have another fun year with everyone here, so, yeah. Seems like maybe the last four or five games of last season, the special teams was playing even better. Like the punt unit was was down in things really well. What do you attribute that to? I mean, was it you're getting comfortable with what Coach Burns was asking? Was it getting comfortable with that unit? What do you think you guys were doing? Yeah, well? I think it was just just all of us coming together finally. You know, um, everyone was so new and, and learning everything. So it took a little while, and then we got all the right guys in, and and everyone was just having fun, um, which was good. So it just yeah, working well as a group. No, he's not a punter, but I'm the specialist to you. With you. What have you seen from Towns so far? Well, Towns, Towns has been good. He's, um, you know, he's, he's come back from a little injury, so he's, he's been warming up into it. And I mean, he, he can kick a ball too. So it's, it's exciting to see two guys that can, can compete a little bit. And um, it's, yeah, they're both great kids as well. So um, Towns and Alex will have a good little, good little bit of fun. But um, yeah, Towns just got to get used to the, the college level and turn up to practices and, and classes and all that. So it'll be, uh, it'll be good to see him grow a lot. First eight clock in the bowl game, you were pretty backed up against the goal line. Were you surprised the call came in? Uh, well, we, I told Coach um, previously that it was time to go for it because we'd seen them shift into a movement, and I said next time they do it, we'll run it. And um, you know, we were backed up, but I was like, let's just let's run it and see what happens. And um, you know, it worked out really well for us. I think that was your team's first first down of that game. Uh, <laughs> was it nice to move the chains? Yeah, it was. It was pretty good, but uh, you know, it'd been a long game and it was cold, and um, you know, was just trying to have some fun out there. So. Did you feel like you were going to get it once you received what you got? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was pretty confident in myself that we would get somewhere. You know, I'd, I'd love to have gotten a little further, but they, uh, it, was a, it was a bit of a call between me and the, the shield. So no one else really blocked, and it was kind of a, me running away from everyone. So, um, But I was pretty confident in getting first down there. What's your focus at this point, being a guy who's been around for so long in terms of your personal improvement? Like, what are some things you can work on and in your game to try to be better in what I, you know, what I believe is going to be your last college season, correct me if I'm Yeah, wrong. yeah. Um, so just for me, it's more of um, getting ready for the next level. Obviously, going to do more pro-style punting rather than the, the rolling out that I'm, I've been doing mostly. Um, but it's just consistency, you know, going out there and um, getting that done and, you know, leaving no doubt that I can do it all kind of kind of thing. So hit the NFL-style punts, also doing the rollouts and um, putting my team in the best spot as well. So kind of just keep that consistency going and not getting any blocked, which is great.